Have you ever wished you could easily switch between different TOS versions without the hassle of physically swapping ROM chips? Or perhaps you're a developer looking for a more efficient way to test firmware across various TOS environments? Well, your wish has come true. The Sidecar Tridge TOS emulator leverages advanced bit-banged emulation to replicate the internal ROMs of the Atari ST. This means you can now effortlessly access and run any TOS version, including custom ROMs like EmuTOS. Setting up and switching between TOS versions used to be a hassle. Now, with the Sidecar Tridge TOS emulator, you can easily connect it to your computer via USB, transfer your TOS image files, and select your preferred version using a simple program on your Atari ST. Plus, with version 2 of the firmware, you can even upload TOS images directly from the running Atari computer. No more manual ROM swapping, no more complications. Before you dive in, let's ensure it's the perfect fit for your Atari ST. First, you must check your Atari ST motherboard model. To do this, open the case and look for the model number printed on the board, usually in the middle and bottom of the motherboard. Refer to our compatibility section for a list of supported motherboards. If your motherboard model isn't listed, don't worry, just contact us for further assistance. Next, determine the number of ROMs your motherboard has. The Sidecar Tridge TOS emulator already supports Atari ST motherboards with 2 and 6 ROM chips. Now, check if your ROMs are plugged or soldered. If your ROMs are plugged, great, you can proceed with the purchase. If they are soldered, you'll need to desolder them and plug them into sockets. If you're uncomfortable with uh, desoldering and soldering, we highly recommend seeking professional help to avoid damaging your Atari ST motherboard. Once you've verified the compatibility of your Atari ST motherboard, you can proceed to purchase the appropriate Sidecar Tridge TOS emulator kit. Ensure you select the correct kit based on your motherboard model number and the number of ROMs. Ready to get started? Let's move on to the next section. After receiving your kit, let's ensure you have everything you need for a smooth setup. Here's the required components of what you should find in your kit. The Sidecar Tridge ROM emulator board already soldered onto the carrier board. Rescue cable and push button for entering rescue mode. Sidecar Tridge QR code card that links to firmware updates and documentation. You can also order some optional components like a, a three and a half floppy disk with switcher.toss application to manage TOS versions on your Atari ST. This application can also be downloaded for free from our website. USB-C cable for connecting the emulator to a computer for firmware updates and TOS image transfers. It is recommended to have the following hardware tools. IC extractor tool safely removes ROM chips. A flathead screwdriver can be used carefully if you don't have one. Insulating tape avoids short circuits between the emulator and the motherboard. Computer with USB port for transferring ROM files and updating firmware. Regarding software and files, you will need TOS image files. You can download them from reputable sources. Switcher.toss program. This is the application used to select and manage TOS images. It's available for free download from the Sidecar Tridge website or can be ordered on a 3.5 inch floppy disk. The program is also included in the default volume of the Sidecar Tridge TOS emulator alongside the EMATOS image. Simply copy it from this volume onto your Atari ST computer to get started. The Sidecar Tridge TOS emulator has two modes, mass storage mode for transferring TOS image files and ROM emulation mode for booting the Atari ST with the selected TOS image. To enter mass storage mode, plug the Sidecar Tridge TOS emulator into the USB-C cable and connect it to your computer. It can be connected to both the Atari ST and your computer simultaneously, but it will enter mass storage mode when powered on from the USB-C cable. If the Romamol volume does, does not appear on your computer, ensure the USB cable is properly connected and press the reset button on the side cartridge TOS ROM board for a few seconds to enter mass storage mode. Once connected, open the Romamol volume on your computer. You should now see the system files to manage the device and also an EmuTOS image file for your computer. 
For STF, STFM, and Mega ST models, the file is 192 kilobytes. For ST and Mega ST models, the file is 256 kilobytes. Emutos is bundled with the device to help you boot without downloading the TOS images. With everything in place, you're ready to transfer your TOS image files. To copy TOS image files to the Sidecar Tridge TOS emulator, simply drag them into the Romal volume. The emulator will automatically store the TOS images in its file system. There are a few important limitations to keep in mind. First, all TOS image files must be placed in the root directory of the Romal volume to be recognized. Additionally, file names can be up to 64 characters long, but anything longer will be automatically shortened. Lastly, the emulator can handle up to 64 TOS image files. By keeping these guidelines in mind, you'll ensure that the TOS images are correctly stored and accessible by the emulator. Once the TOS image files are organized and renamed, copy them to the device. For the sake of brevity, we are not showing you the multiple options for the device's mass storage mode. We strongly recommend reading the Getting Started section of our documentation. After copying the images, don't forget to unmount the side cartridge volume to force your desktop computer to flush the cache. We won't spend much time on opening the Atari case, as there are plenty of tutorials available online. Once the metal shielding is removed, you'll find the Atari ST-ROM chips. Their location depends on the Atari ST model, STF-STFM, located on the left side of the motherboard, under the power supply unit, or below the keyboard. ST-E, near the keyboard connector, partially covered by the floppy drive. Mega ST-E, on the right side of the motherboard, close to the bottom edge, below the hard disk drive unit. If the ROM chips are soldered to the motherboard, it is recommended to seek professional assistance to avoid damaging the Atari ST. This guide assumes the ROM chips are socketed and can be removed without soldering. If you have a chip extractor tool, use it to carefully lift each ROM chip out of its socket. If you don't have a chip extractor, use a flathead screwdriver. Gently insert the tip under one end of the chip and slowly pry it upward. Repeat on the other end until the chip is free. Once removed, place the ROM chips on an anti-static mat or in an anti-static bag to protect them from static damage. Inspect the now empty sockets on the motherboard for debris or damage. If necessary, clean them using compressed air or a soft brush. The side cartridge TOS emulator is configured to replace the original ROM pin by pin. If the computer has jumpers to select the chip types, set them to match the original ROMs as described in the section hardware installation of the documentation. In this video, we will assume that the jumper is set in the factory configuration. Now, connect the side cartridge TOS emulator to your Atari ST motherboard. We need to find the correct orientation and alignment depending on the motherboard type. ST, STF, STFM. The side cartridge carrier board plugs into the ROM sockets marked Hi0 and LO0 on the motherboard. The Hi0 socket is closest to the motherboard's bottom edge. The sockets are 28 pins wide, just like the side cartridge TOS emulator, making alignment straightforward. To insert the emulator, gently press the carrier board into the ROM sockets, applying even pressure on both sides to avoid bending any pins. Make sure it is fully seated and secure. Try to insert all the pins at once and avoid forcing them if they don't fit. STE, the side cartridge carrier board, plugs into the ROM sockets marked as LO and HI. Insert the high part into the HI socket and the low part into the LO socket. Ensure the emulator is aligned to the left side of the socket. Mega ST, the side cartridge carrier board, plugs into the ROM sockets marked as LO and HI. Insert the low part into the LO socket and the high part into the HI socket. Ensure the emulator is aligned to the right side of the socket. As a reminder, the Atari STE and Mega ST have two 32-pin ROM sockets, but the side cartridge TOS emulator uses only the first 28 pins. Again, ensure the emulator is correctly aligned in the socket. Before closing the Atari ST case, test the unit to ensure the side cartridge TOS emulator functions correctly. Power on the Atari ST and verify that the side cartridge TOS emulator is recognized and operational. It should boot into the default TOS selected. If it's not recognized or functioning correctly, power off the Atari ST 
and double check the installation steps to identify and resolve any issues. If the problem persists, refer to the troubleshooting section for further assistance. Before closing the case, ensure there are no contacts between any elements of the side cartridge TOS emulator and the metal shielding or any other component that could cause a short circuit. Be careful when reassembling the Atari STE case. To avoid a short circuit, place a strip of insulating tape between the side cartridge TOS emulator and the floppy drive. Now that the device is installed correctly and functional, let's learn how to use it in the daily operation of the side cartridge TOS emulator. To power your Atari ST, turn it on as you usually would. The side cartridge TOS emulator will automatically boot the active TOS version. If no active TOS version is selected, the emulator will boot the default Amutos version provided with the kit. The switcher program lets you easily switch between TOS versions. You can download it from the documentation page or order it on a diskette. It's also preloaded in the default volume of the Sidecar Tridge TOS emulator with the Emutos image. Just copy it to your Atari ST and run switcher.tos from the desktop like any other TOS program. This program will display a list of available TOS ROMs with the following information. The list of available TOS ROM images. The currently active TOS ROM or the default TOS ROM. The TOS ROM used for rescue mode. Navigate the list with the arrow keys and press the return key to select the desired TOS ROM. The program will then reboot the Atari ST with the selected TOS ROM. This is the recommended way to switch between TOS versions. While it is possible to switch TOS versions by modifying the default.txt file as described in the Getting Started section of the documentation, this method is not recommended for daily use. Since version 2 of the firmware, it's now possible to upload a new TOS image directly from the Atari ST computer where the Sidecar Tridge TOS emulator is installed and running. To upload a TOS image, first, make sure it's stored on media that's accessible and connected to your Atari computer. Then, open the switcher.tos application and press the U key to bring up the file browser. In the file browser, first select the drive letter where the TOS image is stored, and then navigate through the file system to locate it. Once you've found the image, press the enter or return key, and the upload process will begin. In this video, we've accelerated the upload to just a few seconds for demonstration purposes. Depending on the size of the image, the upload can actually take between three to five minutes. Once the upload is complete, the application will automatically re-index the image files and your new TOS image will be ready to select from the main page. To delete an existing TOS image, press the D key from the main menu and confirm the action to proceed with the deletion. Once the image is deleted, the application will automatically re-index the remaining files. For safety reasons, it's not possible to delete the active or rescue images. This is a basic tutorial for a quick start with the device. Please refer to the documentation site for more details and information. Enjoy!